to another Reese for Animal Encounters. Today we are with the otters. So these are our Asian short clawed otters and as you can hear they are very noisy because um, it's time for their food. So um, I'll just give them a bit of food to quiet them down a bit and then I'll speak to you a bit more about them. Okay, so they are from Southeast Asia um, and you find them in mangrove and freshwater habitats. They are aquatic, semi-aquatic animals and you might be able to see they've got this lovely paddle shaped tail that they use as a rudder and they're very streamlined in the water so they're quite fast because in the wild they have to be able to catch fish um, but they also eat crustaceans and mollusks and things like that. So we give them a varied diet here at the zoo. Um, we give them We've got chicks and mice this morning and then this afternoon they will have fish and prawns and crayfish um, so they can use their natural instincts to break open the shells um, and eat their food uh, here in the zoo. Um, they also have really sensitive feet pads because um, in the waters in Southeast Asia they're quite murky so they have to be able to feel around for their food so they use their sensitive um, foot pads to, to do that. Um, they also can live into, in groups of up to 15, um, but here we've got um, a family group. So we've got Abby and Wonga, who are the parents, and then we've got um, their babies. So we've got six otters here. Um, the babies don't have names at the moment, um, but they will do soon. So that's Wonga, the dad up on the top. Um, he's been trained to go up there so we can health check him um, because they are quite playful creatures um, and they're very bitey. So um, if we can health check them from a distance, really good for the otters um, so it doesn't stress them out too much. So these are the smallest otter species. Um, we do have otters in this country but they are a lot bigger than um, these guys and they are vulnerable in the wild now um, due to pollution, habitat loss and overhunting. Um, so there is a breeding species in zoos of these otters to try and up the population. Um, and they can live up to 12 years in captivity. Uh, as you probably heard, they are very, <laughs> very squeaky and um, they have 12 different distinctive claws that they use for different things um, to communicate with the rest of their group. And um, because they can live up to, in groups of up to 15, um, they, they need that communication to be able to alert the others to predators or tell them that there's food around. Um, and so they're very playful and communicative species, they're very sociable animals. 